Okay guys, just got back from Kroger. I only went to Kroger today because I didn't need anything specific from Walmart. Everything that I knew I wanted to spend money on was at Kroger and I did not need that much. This is all that I got today. And y'all, I will proudly say I only spent $94. Um, because of what I spent in prior weeks, I really only needed to spend $94 today to stay on budget, and I did. There's a couple things that I bought that made this haul probably look a little bit smaller than it could. I could have gotten a few things. I could have not gotten a few things that were a little bit more pricey and I could have gotten a lot more things that were cheaper but this is what I got it is stuff that I felt like I needed and a couple things I kind of wanted um, but let me just go in and show y'all real quick so all of these canned goods right here are just stock up canned goods um, so I got two cans of cream of mushroom and then I got a can of sliced stewed tomatoes a small can of tomato sauce and a large can of tomato sauce and a can of sloppy joe sauce we tend to make sloppy joes a fairly good bit, and that's why I like to keep those on hand. Um, I just got one pound of ground turkey. The main thing I wanted to kind of get a little bit extra of, though, is frozen veggies and meat. Um, but I just got one pound of ground turkey. Um, I still have a ton in my freezer. I got another pot roast. So as y'all know from a prior grocery haul, I had bought a pot roast. We do not buy and eat pot roast very often at all. I usually will make one about once every other month and it had been longer than that since we had had one. Um, and so we finally ate it uh, this past weekend. So I went on and got another one just because I could fit it within my budget. We probably won't have this for another month or two, but I just figured I'd have it on hand because I can't always fit this into my budget because pot roast is a little pricey. So I figured I would just go in and have it and then I have it for when we want it. Um, I did buy another whole chicken because uh, these were on sale again for 88 cents a pound, which is an amazing deal. And I still have the other one in my freezer that I bought like a couple months ago. I have still not done anything with y'all, but I think I am going to cook it eventually and like shred up the chicken because there's so much that we use chicken for, especially shredded chicken. So I figured I would just cook it, shred it, you know, divide it up into some freezer bags. And that's probably what I'm going to do with this one as well. Um, but I wanted to go on and get it for that cheap price. And then I also got um, one roll of this Tennessee Pride Mild Sausage. Um, typically, I don't use these hardly ever, but I like to make nachos every once in a while, and I put um, ground up sausage in the nachos. So we, we probably only have nachos a few times a year, but we're probably going to have some before long, so I wanted to have some of this on hand while I could afford it. I also got a bag of Crunchy Butterfly Shrimp. It's a pretty big bag. We do not buy butterfly shrimp that often because it's also kind of pricey. So I wanted to take advantage of being able to fit this into my budget because like I said, this week we just didn't need a lot. I've stocked up so well lately that we just didn't need a lot. So I figured that I would get some stuff that we can't always buy while I can fit it in my budget. So I got the butterfly shrimp. And then as y'all know, my favorite country pleasing green onion sausage. We buy two of these and put them in our red beans and rice. I just bought two what a week or two ago um i can't remember which week but very recently um and i went on and got two more because again i cannot buy these as much as i want they, they never really go on sale and they're kind of pricey as well so i figured i would just go in and have them while i could fit it in my budget and then we would have enough sausage to make red beans and rice twice and um also i was kind of wanting to have like my mom and stepdad over pretty soon and if i do that and make red beans and rice for them i need extra sausage anyway so i got that um i just got one half gallon of almond milk and if y'all saw my haul from last week i got uh one container of bolt house farms juice because i am starting a juice fast in fact i started it today um so i went on to the grocery store today so i'd have the rest of the juices that i need um, so I got a 52 ounce container of Blue Goodness, a 52 ounce container of Amazing Mango, and then I got three of these small daily greens because they didn't have a big container of it. And I at least want to have one of these a day because these are the only ones that have veggies in them and all the rest have fruit in them. And I wanted a big container of Sea Boost, but I didn't see that either. So 
that's what I got. And this, of course, made my haul a lot pricier. I mean, this was like $23, I think, for these. So if I had not gotten these, I could buy a lot more frozen veggies and a lot more meat. And those are the two things that I really wanted to make sure that I stocked up on a little bit more this week was meat and frozen veggies. Um, because we've started using a little bit out of my deep freeze finally. And I want to make sure that I keep it stocked. And it was getting a little bit lower. So if I had not gotten those, I could have gotten more meat and veggies. But I still think I did pretty good because I don't really need any of these meats this week. So I'm stocking up on all of that. And then I got all these frozen veggies. I got a package of Brussels sprouts, two things of deluxe whole green beans, and then two package of frozen broccoli florets. So five packages of frozen veggies. So I did pretty good there. Um, got bananas and blueberries because these were a good price. And then grapes. And then I got one dozen eggs, one loaf of bread, one thing of hamburger buns, some spaghetti noodles because I think I finally used the last package. So I really need to probably get some more of these um, in future weeks so that I can stock back up on these. And then I got a bunch of snack cakes, y'all. Again, if I had not bought this many snack cakes, I could have bought other things. But in my house, my husband and my kids are junk food junkies. My husband, oh my gosh, especially. So I have to keep snack cakes on hand for him. These will not be all used this week. We, they will eat this over the course of a couple weeks. But these will sell for like $1.25 a box. And they're normally like anywhere from like $1.68 to 2 bucks. So I got um, two packages of the Swiss rolls. And then I got uh, two boxes of the Cosmic Brownies. And then I got these strawberry shortcake rolls and the zebra cakes. So, a lot of junk, but again, that is for more than just a week. <laughs> That's a couple weeks of snack cakes. So, that is everything. I think considering under the circumstances, I did pretty good. Because like I said, I am doing a three-day juice fast. And that made it a little bit pricey. If I had not gotten those, I could have you know, gotten a little bit more. But still, I stepped up on a pretty good bit of meat, I feel like, and a pretty good bit of frozen veggies. I mean, we're not eating all of this this week. In fact, we're not eating any of this meat this week. And um, I have frozen veggies on hand, just not a ton. So I probably won't even dip into those. So all of that is stock up items, and most of those canned goods are stock up items. And so, yeah, I think I did pretty good all in all. So as always, I would leave the link down below to online grocery pickup at Walmart. Click that link. It'll save you $10 off of your first grocery order. And please comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys next week for the next one. Bye.